If you were a fan of The Killing over its four season run, first on AMC and then concluding on Netflix, then you are going to be counting down the minutes, I think, until creator Vina Sud's new series, Seven Seconds, launches on the streaming service on February 23rd. Like The Killing, there is a lot of personal, institutional, and cultural messiness to unpack in this 10 episode, sometimes convoluted investigation of the killing of a black boy by a white Jersey City cop and an accidental hit and run that is stupidly covered up by a bigoted wall of blue and a series of bad decisions and bad calls that makes things go from already pretty bad to worse. With another outstanding performance by American crime alum and multiple Emmy winner Regina King as the heartbroken but not to be silenced mother of the murdered boy, Seven Seconds pushes the procedural format's boundaries a bit and seeks a timely, though not altogether that original perch on the realities of our clearly broken justice system, the Black Lives Matters movement, and some brutal truths of American life. Look, I found that in Britain's things from the hospital. There was a white man in his room that first night that we were there and I found this. I found him in Britain's bed. Why, why would he have one of his seagulls? So we gotta go to the police. We gotta let them know about this man because maybe he might know something. He might know who did this to Britain, so we gotta go. Look, Latrice, how many days has it been since the repast? What have you been doing? Unfortunately, with way too many attempts at iconic imagery, narrative shortcuts, and a tendency to toss important topics into the mix at the expense of the actual story at hand, the succinct title of Seven Seconds does not match the bottom line of a show. It simply doesn't know where to end. As good as King is, and the solid work by Claire Hope Ashley as a boozing assistant DA, and Michael Mosley as the detective trying to keep the case alive, and Ashley's character sober, Seven Seconds drags on way too long, even when you think it's over. Now, back in the Asian days of 2013, there used to be bragging rights of sorts that Netflix doesn't meddle too much in its original programming. The peddled story was that the streamer trusted talented and smart producers and others to deliver content with few notes or executive probing. Well, if that was the case here, they really need to rethink that policy. And the only one who might ever know is God. God didn't run my son down in the street and leave him to die. And that's a real shame because there is a thoughtful and deeply emotional story of needlessly sacrificed cultural cannon fodder and systematic discrimination on many levels in seven seconds. One that I still think, despite my reservations, makes the anthology worth watching, with the fortunate fact that because it is on Netflix, you can skip certain parts if you want. Otherwise, the hindrance is, and no pun intended, they should have cut to the chase sooner, with a leaner approach, and I know producers hate to hear this, but less episodes instead of way too many stops and false starts that leaves the show drifting. Because as the Rolling Stones once said, and seven seconds might want to remember, time waits for no one.